Hello everybody, welcome back to more Super Mario Brothers 3. I was thinking I should have saved the hammer for this minigame. Probably I'm not gonna win anything out of it, I mean... Could have been a waste anyway, but... If I would have known, if I would have remembered... At least... Okay, so, what do we have? Mushroom, yep, yeah, this power-up. Can you believe that took me years to realize that? Of course, they had to watch another person playing this in order to figure out where the power was. But when playing this as a kid and even beating this game all the way through, I completely ignored that by going all the way down at the very beginning of this level, you can get a power up just in case. Justin Beaver case. That was pretty shit as a joke. But I still keep making it because I think it's funny for myself. Well, my taste is. Tastes in humor as well as in life, basically, are very shit. There's an extra life around here. We can make it fast, of course, before the Lotus Plants uh, fireballs get me. Yeah, this is where the extra life is. Almost 40. I feel a little bit safer, so I won't game over in this game. I was the head of a blooper. The next level is the one that I remember having, like, star. I got confused. I can still get it wrong. Don't take me for granted. I mean, please, take me for granted. I'm super predictable anyway. Yeah, here, this is the one. And these blocks are gonna have more stars. Well, every other block. So you can pretty much beat this level being invincible. Another trick that it took years to figure out. I am pretty sure if you watch my original playthrough of Mario 3, like on the main channel, I'm talking about like the one from 2008. No commentary for that one? Yeah, uh, no, I won't fight lives. So. When I did a playthrough, I'm pretty sure I didn't get the stars. I didn't do the trick, so to speak. Or well, I didn't discover that, because I was an ignorant. Again, you have to watch somebody else years later to find out about there's certain things that I, I... not even myself was, like, aware of. I'll use the cloud right now. I don't feel like skipping levels. I, I'm not gonna skip any level. I'm gonna play them all, guys. Told you. The Big Bertha! Well, responds much faster than I thought. So yeah, the, the joke is to kill it with the block here. But of course, as long as we have this, we can feel a little bit safer. Literally a little bit, because this doesn't long, last very long before it comes back. As you can tell. Well, that was it. Oh, there is another level like this. I, I was expecting a trap, but it's in a later level from this world, I believe. Precisely. I still have pending cards. Yes. A lot. Shit, I never saw the 10. Yes. Why did I think there was a star in there? I, I just flipped that one. Ten seconds before, whatever. Uh, this is a little bit of a maze, sort of. Like, you have to... Wait, wasn't the third one? <gasps> Got confused already. No. No, it's the third one from the next section, isn't it? But yeah, this is essentially trial and error. It's the third one. But then that's the one, yeah. Third one from the second section, not from the first. And we're gonna do perform the first fireball kill to boom boom in the run. Okay. I'll attempt to win this minigame at least once in the run. 
Yeah. Sounds very shitty. Sounds like a shitty, like, challenge. Alright, got it. Yeah, the mushroom is the easiest one. Pretty much halfway through in the life count. Good old fashioned way of killing these guys. Okay, I can use this to play the minigame again. Why not use it? No, wait. I have to use it for another thing later, I think. Maybe. Okay. So, level 4. Yeah, let's try to follow an order too. Well, good job. Oh, isn't this a level that features the green spikes? It's like the. One of the most... how can I say? Underrated enemies in the series, in my opinion. At some point I thought that like these called spikes that actually are featured in this world precisely, the ones that throw like spiny balls, were pretty underrated until they have a couple of exclusive levels for themselves featuring them in the newer Mario games for the Wii and the Wii U, I think. Um, but the, the green spinies are pretty funny. They just roll. Another frog suit, I guess. Well, there should be another swimming level. There is a castle even with a swimming section, so I guess I'm gonna be using that in there. Okay, at least I haven't been fighting the Hammer Brothers in the water. I'm out of here. Okay, this is the last level I'm doing today, level 5. So I'll do the rest next video. Uh, no. We have two frog swords, come on, not le why not using that? I should pay attention to the map. They actually indicate wh what's an actual water level, or at least a level that has water in it. I'm probably gonna lose it fast, because I take too much speed, I get too excited about that. Actually, I don't have to tap the button just by holding it. You have a very smooth swim. Whoa! Too good! And I, actually, now I, I should get hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my chance, probably I'm not gonna be getting the five lives. I actually did! <laughs> First try, lucky son of a bitch. Yeah, this is why actually it's ideal to keep or to save your hammer. Since we have still time until the 10 minute mark, we're gonna play this, see what it can get. Another frog suit, yeah, like it wasn't enough. As you know, water levels in this game are not so abundant. There are a few, but they're not predominant. Okay, I think I got it. Well, what a mixture. Let's go for the other one right away. Because I can. I went for the star again, failing so hard. Speaking of failing, yeah, let's have the flower. <laughs> he knew it. I don't know what else would have happened. Let's go for number one. Yeah. Froxu Galore, all day every day. Alright guys, this is it for me today. Next time I will clearly finish this world, so I want to thank you for watching. Take care.